Chaka Laka, what's up homies, my name's D-Nice, and we are back with Fate Stay Night Part 2. <clears throat> Owning this old western style mansion is proof that, proof of that, and on top of it, the Tosaka family is a bloodline of sorcerers able to use the power of magic. If you're talking about age, our family has an ancient history. Well, it's not something I can brag about. <clears throat> Actually, I can't speak openly about it at all. Oh, by the way, I, Tosaka Rin, am a magus. What on earth can I brag to... Wait, who on earth can I brag to like that? Magic is just what it sounds like. Magic. <clears throat> I don't care if you get ideas like Abacadabra or whatever. You can just think of us as people who do strange things by casting spells. Oh. What? What do you mean by oh? <clears throat> oh, oh, though it's not like we fly around on brooms or make stars appear with the wave of a wand. Well, we could do that, but we don't bother as it's kind of meaningless. <laughs> we could do that. Um, we're basically heretics who hide ourselves from the world. We're prohibited from standing out, and even if we weren't, we would rather be at home studying magic. On top of that, the word sorcerer is completely inaccurate. To be precise, there are only five sorcerers in the world, things no one can do, things beyond the ability of modern science. The ones who can make such miracles are the ones we call sorcerers. Miracles that uh, can never be achieved regardless of time or effort. Those we call sorcery. Those things that are mysterious but achievable with time and effort, those we call magic. That's why what I do is called magic rather than sorcery. It's complicated, but that's how it is, so just accept it. Well, to be honest, the modern world doesn't recognize the existence of Maggie. As we believe, control, and learn things that are immeasurable, our existence is incompatible with the modern world because it's kind of meaningless. Going to a normal school and becoming a normal adult will bring you far more happiness than studying magic. Human technology is great. In the past few hundred years, it has been leading the way ahead of magic. Nothing is impossible for humans. I mean, we can't fly when we want to. What if we wanted to do that? The miracles once only possible through magic are now tools and not miraculous at all still magic has its good points just as there are things possible only through science there are also things possible only through magic it was the master of the tosaka family who said that if science is moving towards the future magic is moving toward the what how does that work Something about the past and the future ending up at the same place. Everything always running towards the zero point. Let's put off all these difficult decisions. They should wait until we're old. Agreed. Before we get all philosophical. Finishing breakfast, I grab my bag. Pendant? I don't really want to take the thing to school, but it'd be a waste such to leave it here. Yo, a hundred year old jewel is, uh, that's special. Is it, is it magical? No, that's an understatement. It's much stronger than that. I found this after decoding father's, uh, will last night. It contains the equivalent of 10 years of my magical energy. 10 years of your magical energy. Interesting. There, uh, there was said to be an heirloom, and this might well be it. Well, uh, we, the Maggie of Tosaka, are skilled at the transformation of power. We put our magical energy into jewels whenever we have free time. 
Why though? What's the benefit of it? To put it simply, the jewels are are bullets, and we are the gun. The only other thing I can say I received from my father is the magical crest of the Tosaka family engraved on my left arm. Does that have something special too? In essence, this is proof of the successor, and it's like a tattoo that condenses all of the inherited. Wow, that's special. I put the pendant, which I can now be said to wait what which can now be said to be my father's memento into my pocket it's 7 30. i should get going or i'll be late for school oh i thought you had school at like 7 30 like you're you're chilling right now what the hell did you just say I leave my I I weave my words with magical energy quickly. Being a magus, I can't let my guard down when leaving my house. Even though there's never been a single robber, wandering child, nor a stray cat, and I don't think my neighbor has ever come to say hello either. Is there a a barrier around your house? That's what I'm assuming there is, right? I look up at the mansion I've grown so accustomed to over the years. Fuyuki is certainly a strange city with many western-styled houses on this side of town. And the area full of Japanese-styled houses just beyond the intersection. I guess it's because many foreign families came to live here a long time ago, but even so, I don't see many foreigners around here now. There's a foreigner's cemetery in the new city across the river, but... It only has the graves of the first generation of families. I'll go to the church and ask the priest sometime. He knows about lots of boring things. Look, we gotta we gotta learn some more about magic, okay? We don't need to be talking to a priest, okay? We need the fun stuff. Huh? Stepping outside, I feel a certain incongruity. Uh Nani? Really? It's especially quiet with no sense of the morning's noisiness. At 7.30, the street should be filled with students going to school and people going to work. Perhaps everyone slept in today. Nah, that's, uh... I doubt that. It's... Well, I mean... Uh... What if you actually don't have school today? What if that's the reason? It's unusually cold, so I bet everyone's still wrapped up in their warm beds. Hmm, but even so... Oh, she talked. Damn it. <laughs> like I said that for no reason. It's strange that I haven't seen even one student so far. At 7.30, you can easily see people in uniform here and there, but I'm the only person at school... At the school gates, and it looks like the clubs are just starting their morning practice. In other words, the only explanation is you don't have school. Uh, what do you mean? With a small sigh, I turned to the girl who addressed me. This girl speaking so frankly is Ayako, well, uh, Mitsuzuri, Mitsuzuri Ayako. She's my classmate in 2A, and there's a lot of stories about her. Well, you're not in 1A, so you're not... Okay, well, at least she's not in, like... Wait, I forgot how they do it, right? I believe, like, don't they separate classes from, like, smartest to people that don't have the high well people that have the highest test scores and people that have the lowest test scores and they put the people that have the highest test scores in their own class essentially and i think that's like class one i think i'm not i'm not sure if it's the letter or the number i don't, I don't remember what do you mean it's almost seven? 
Isn't it eight o'clock? She waves her hand in front of me, wondering if I'm all right. She's one of the few friends who know I am not a morning person. In other words, she thinks I'm not fully awake yet. An hour fast! Yo, that's one way to make sure that you're never late. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, every clock in your house is an hour fast. Yo, man, look. I don't think I could ever do that, dude. Did you create some kind of spell last night that did that? Really? Just what's going on here? Did father arrange for all the clocks to go mad when the pendant was removed from the basement? What? New freshman, huh? I s <laughs>、<laughs> I have three acquaintances in the archery club. One is Ayako, the person before me right now, and the other two are people I barely talk to and kind of don't want to. And for one of those two, the word acquaintance doesn't really suffice. So essentially, they're,、uh, they're like、uh, one of those people that you look at, you say hi, and <laughs> you probably never say hi for another six months or something. I became friends with Ayako because I have been watching the archery club from afar. Okay, you sound like a stalker right now. The impressive archery club is one of our school's outstanding aspects. Perhaps the director is just interested in archery, but the range is much too fancy for a mere school club. Tea? Is it green tea or black tea? Happy about something, Ayako drags me in by the hand. It's a bad habit of her. She talks like a guy when she's expressing her true feelings. Alrighty, that's weird. Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end it there because I have to get this upload up and then I have to、uh, go to sleep and go to work. How, how fun. <sighs> I, I wish I could、uh, record for longer periods of time. Maybe, maybe one day. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you slap that like button, punch the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.